she wakes up. Secondly, the wives' rights. Allah says, Women shall with justice have rights similar to those exercised against them. TQ, Surah 2, The Cow, verse 228. A. Muhammad says, Women are men's sisters, equal to them. B. He also says, Only gracious people treat women with defense, but vile people humiliate them. C. When Muwaya ibn Sidiadia asked Muhammad what rights one's woman must enjoy, he replied, To give her to eat when you eat, to buy her clothing when you get new clothes, not to hit her face, nor to call her bad names, nor forsake her, save when at home. Thirdly, the rights of the children. Allah has thus enjoined you concerning your children. TQ, Surah 4, The Women, verse 11. You shall not kill your children for fear of want. We will provide for them and for you. To kill them is a great sin. TQ, Surah 17, The Children of Israel, verse 31. Our Prophet says, 1. Be affectionate to children and have pity on them. Fulfill your promises to them, for they see that only you provide for their maintenance. 2. He whoever has a boy should behave like a child when treating or dealing with them. 3. Look after your children and let their manners be good. 4. Fear Allah and treat your children with justice. 5. Give to children equally. If I should prefer someone of them, I would rather the females. 6. Whoever is not kind to our children or does not give honor to our elders does not belong to our community. 7. Whosoever supplies three girls, daughters, or three sisters with sustenance, it becomes incumbent upon Allah to enter him in his paradise. 8. A certain man asked Muhammad, What rights does this son of mine have? He answered, Choose him a good name, teach him good manners, and establish for him a proper position in life. Fourth, rights of the parents.